Hi everyone, today I'm going to talk about the jaw and bruxing or grinding of the teeth and why that upper cervical spine can play a huge role in problems relating to this. Now, the grind, when we think of grinding our teeth or bruxing, we usually think of like a dental, dental issue or going to see the dentist or if we have a jaw problem, the first line that we usually think as a general population is going to see the dentist. And that's correct and we work with uh, local dentists to make sure that there are everything that problems are getting attacked from multifaceted approaches if we need to um, but the upper cervical spine is hugely important when it comes to the jaw and the reason for that is when we look at the cervical spine and when we look at the upper cervical spine in particular it surrounds an area called the brainstem and in that brainstem is an area called the trigeminal nucleus that nucleus gives light gives rise to the trigeminal nerve that comes out and breaks into three branches that come across the face and this nerve first of all it gives sensation to the face so if people have heard of trigeminal neuralgia which is a horrendous uh, condition um, which is a blog on if you want to check that out then it gives rise to that sensation and that's often a nerve that gets affected with uh, that condition but also gives rise to some important muscles of the jaw called the muscles of mastication the muscles that we use to chew and when we um, misalign something at that upper part of the neck it can start to interfere with how this nucleus and how this nerve starts to regulate and function and if we start to get an imbalance what we'll find is that we'll get tension and tightness and often the the way that comes out in our body is it either causes this bruxin at night or it can start to cause like tension and jaw issues so one thing that you can do to see the importance of having a, a cervical spine that works correctly and is in the correct position is if you bite your teeth together and take notice of where your teeth touch so you bite and if you bring your neck forward into a flex position and then do the same thing you'll notice that the, where the teeth touch is different and what that tells us is that neck position is having a role on the jaw and the bite so you can if we look at someone's spine and we often use in x-rays to look underneath at what's going on um on a skeletal level and when we look at people's spines what we'll see is quite often we see the curve in the neck is is no longer there and that's becoming more and more common the more and more we see people and that's becoming even more of a problem in our younger population um so if we look at this loss of cervical lordosis or curve if we have that and we're correcting a bite alone without correcting that underlying issue quite often we can only get to a certain certain point and that will then lead to yeah we get a part part of the problem fixed but we don't get it fully fixed so that's why it's super important in making sure the neck is uh, corrected and the neck's in a good place. Why that curve is important? Well, that curve in, is important because running through there is the nervous system and the, the spinal cord. And if we change that, then we start to put tension on, on that system. And the upper neck up here is actually what controls that cervical curve. Now, the upper neck is, if that's aligned and in the right position and moving effectively, we see that curve is, is there. When we see this out of position, misaligned, or what we call as chiropractors subluxated, the next thing we start to see is head coming forward, the loss of that curve. We often see imbalance in the shoulders and the hips, um, and then that's something that comes out in people's posture and day-to-day -day life. So um, why is it important? Well, that upper neck surrounds what's called the trigeminal nucleus. That's what gives rise to the trigeminal nerve. If we change things at that level, will influence how those nerves are firing information um, and if we change the tension side to side quite often what we'll find is that we get this grinding which is uh, is what we call bruxing and that can lead to all sorts of things TMJ problems TMD can also lead to morning headaches and all sorts of issues now we correct the upper neck if we need to send out for dental help to make sure that the bite is then also working correctly we can do that um, and that's when we find that we get the most well the best results um yeah if anyone has any questions feel free to send me a message um and i look forward to speaking to you have a great day